What's up my fellow Warbirds, aka the War Eagle is back with another video. And this time I am finally doing my review of the A4B Skyhawk after procrastinating on it for so long. You know I've had this footage since like the first week, but just other things just got in the way and I'm finally posting this video. So the A4B Skyhawk is an attacker in the attacker line for the US Air Tree, sitting at a battle rating 8.7. And my thoughts on this, just before starting off, it's an interesting little aircraft, I'm not going to lie. It's fun, but it's definitely not meta. So, let's just dive into it and you'll see what I mean. So I'm going to start off with what I think is honestly a huge con for an attacker aircraft, and that is the guns. They're Colt Mark 12s, which, historically, the fighter pilots hated them. They don't seem to really want to do much other than, at best, really get crits. You'll see in these few clips that I'm hitting the aircraft and, you know, had it been any other kind of gun, they would have deleted them. But, like for example in this one, I just get a crit on him, but he's still perfectly fine. Now historically, the Colt Mark 12s were considered terrible guns. The Navy used them, but the pilots hated them. And especially, you know, on aircraft like the F-8 Crusader. That is probably one of my biggest worries about it. this aircraft when it eventually comes, is that it does have the Colt Mark 12s. But, yeah, I mean, I just only able to really get crits on it like that was a crit on that guy and this is one of the few times I actually do get a kill with the guns but I have no idea why I even got this kill he just goes down on his I think on his own volition so yeah honestly you don't even get that many rounds to begin with so yeah they're just honestly not that great all right now let's get into the secondary armaments, which this thing is really known for. Starting off, it does actually get AIM-9Bs. And I know a lot of people may think that AIM-9Bs are nothing special. But I gotta say, at the 9.0 and lower BR, they're not that bad. Plus, not to mention, the fact that this aircraft gets an air spawn. You can do at least, you know some damage with this thing. I would not recommend this as a dogfighter, but if you just want to get in, get some kills, it can do it, but it's not a meta aircraft. So just to kind of give you another example of the AIM-9B, G91 is crit and it's going to burn down. So yeah, like I said, just this aircraft ain't too bad in terms of being able to do air defense or air attack, whatever you want. Boom, another kill. That Hunter F was not going to get away from that one. Alright, so here's another example of the versatility of this aircraft, though. So let's say you got AIM 9Bs, you can follow in behind a guy. And Fox 2. That guy is done. So now we're going to go bomb a base because, like I said, this is mostly an attacker. And because you get the air spawn, you can get away with things like this. So we're in transition to the base now. Lining up the shot. Here we go. So yeah, speaking about the air to ground capabilities of this thing, let's get into it. That was, first off, that was three 1,000 pound bombs. Now, of course, you can carry more options, and you'll see some more in a second. But personally, the three 1,000s plus two AIM-9Bs, that's not a bad option to go with. I would highly recommend it. Now, of course, you're not going to start off with the 1,000-pound loadout, so honestly, for this aircraft, I would recommend getting the 18 250-pound bombs. Great way to start grinding this aircraft, and as you will see in this clip, they are good for both offensive and defensive. 
Boom, MiG-15 down. Yeah, surprise, surprise. <laughs> anyway, moving on. So another great armament that this thing does come with is Zuni rockets. Now, of course, you can carry more than 12, as you will see in this. Though, personally, I would recommend just sticking with the AIM-9Bs plus the centerline Zuni rockets, which gives you 12 total. So yeah, targets destroyed. They're easy to aim, being right on the center of the aircraft. Really, it's just... That's honestly one of the best loadouts I think you could possibly go with. And, of course, if Zunis aren't your thing, go with Hydras. They're also centerline if you take out the AIM-9Bs. One thing I will actually point out that is really interesting, though, is this thing can actually carry a whole lot of Hydra rockets, more than just what I'm carrying on with the AIM-9Bs. But oddly enough, this aircraft doesn't have enough thrust to really fly or take off with the Hydra rockets. Which I found odd, so... Rather than taking out a full payload of Hydra rockets, I would, you know, take out AIM-9Bs plus Hydras. Plus, they're just easier to aim, as you'll see in this clip. Boom. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Going back to the guns, though, I would absolutely not recommend, you know, having shot those like that. Just because, like I said, honestly, I just find the guns terrible. Now, the aircraft does also come with gun pods, so you can have tons of ammo for this aircraft because, you know, you got the two guns that are equipped to it and then three gun pods that you can carry. But again, just because of how bad the guns are, I would not recommend it. So like I said, personally, I find this to be a much better loadout. Now let's say Hydro Rockets aren't your thing. Let's say you want to carry some Bullpup missiles. This thing is the only 8.7 aircraft other than the event vehicle for the FJ-4B that you could have gotten that can carry it. So even though it doesn't carry as much as the event vehicle FJ-4B, carrying three Bullpups, that's not a bad deal at 8.7 BR. Alright, and lastly before we conclude, I'm going to show off some other interesting things about this aircraft. In order to help th this aircraft actually get off the ground, it does have boosters that you can take off with. As you can see here, boosts off, takes off fairly easy, and then they just ditch off once emptied. Now one thing I actually did notice though is you can activate the boosters at any time, so maybe you don't want to take off with them, maybe you want to save them for if you need an extra speed boost. Possibilities are endless w with the boosters. <laughs> and last but not least, I also want to point out that this aircraft is a carrier-capable aircraft. So, here we go. I'm landing on this aircraft carrier. Just take her nice and easy. Not gonna lie, I can't wait for larger aircraft carriers to come into the game. And touchdown. So yeah, let's say your base is being attacked. You can go land on a carrier with this thing if the option's there. And that will, you know, at least provide some, some additional options for you. So, what do I think about this aircraft? If I had to describe it in one word, I would say fun. This aircraft is not meta. It's not going to be competitive. But you know, sometimes you just have to get out and just have fun. Not everything has to be full-on competition. You don't have to show the best score out there. And, you know, I'm probably going to get a lot of flack for saying that. Because I know this community wants always the best. But sometimes you just have to kick back, relax, and just have some fun. That's what this aircraft is. It's not going to be meta, but it doesn't need to be. It's just a fun little aircraft to take out and have fun with. One thing I do wish I had done, though, was I got some clicks from Tank RB. Because, you know, with those centerline Zuni rockets, Hydra rockets, um, and bombs, 
this thing would probably be fun as heck to play in Tank RB. But of course, you know, I'm not the best at tanks. <laughs> well, that's going to wrap up this review. If you guys like what you saw, of course, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel. Link to Discord is in the description below. And if you guys have made it this far, you guys may notice that I have a new microphone. So I'm still kind of tweaking some of the settings. So if I need to change anything about it, you know, and not even just the mic, if I just need to change anything, feel free to give me some constructive criticism. I'm always willing to listen to constructive feedback. And as always, I hope you guys have enjoyed.